Hey guys, so today I will be re-dyeing my hair with the Arctic Fox hair dye. So I had done the front of my hair red and the back is like a dark brown like kind of blackish color and the red washes out so quickly. So I've been just like constantly re-dyeing it. I'm trying different brands of hair dye. Some of them are like demi-permanent, some are semi-permanent, some are permanent, <laughs> some are direct dyes. Um, but I feel like in the end, they all just sort of wash out pretty badly. And I wanted to try the Arctic Fox hair dye. This color is the Poison. I think it's supposed to be just like a bright red color. So I found out that like in my experience from like the direct dyes that I use, anything that's like this, like semi-permanent or demi-permanent, it doesn't do very well with covering up your gray hairs or it'll cover it up a little bit and then it just washes right out. Um, I'm more focused on right now just re-dyeing this whole part here and I don't like doing permanent hair dyes all the time because it's not as healthy for your hair where ones like this are a little bit healthier so I do have um, some gray coming in and when it was bad like I think it was last month I used a permanent hair dye and that did cover up the grays and was pretty good but now it's growing out now a little bit so I'm like you know what I'll do permanent maybe next month and just stick with like the semi-permanent for right now. So, like I said, I haven't tried the Arctic Fox yet. I've tried like a, a couple different ones. Um, Pulp Riot, I tried, what was the other one that I tried? Um, I don't know if it was like a Wella hair color. And there was one other one, but I, I, I forget what the, the name of it was. But I was between this and Manic Panic, and I was like, I've used Manic Panic in the past, like back in the 90s, it was like everybody was dying their hair with Manic Panic. So now I'm just like, I'm gonna try this one out. So let's go. So basically I just put on like a shitty t-shirt. This is mine that I always wear. And I line my counter with some newspaper, get my gloves here, a comb, and some hair clips to section out my hair. This part is pretty hard to actually just like section out just the front part where um, I wanna dye it and not include any of the, the back pieces. So I'm gonna section it out and then I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I have my hair sectioned out. I usually do it like this, like two, like I parted in the middle, do these sections, and this is just pulled back where my dark hair is. And then I bring it down and do it like little section by section, like a, in, in a row, like you'll see. So I start at the top here and then I just pull the section up like this, maybe a little bit smaller, and then I'll start doing like this part here. I might have to move my camera back a little bit so you guys can see better. So that's the, the shade it's supposed to be. I was debating on like doing this or like a more burgundy color, but then I'm like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I kind of wanted the bright red, so I'm like, I'll just keep doing it for a while, and then maybe eventually I'll do like a burgundy. Somebody else recommended I do purple. I might do that. I mean, purple is my favorite color, but I don't know if I want purple hair just yet. So I kind of just like dump some out in my hand. I just kind of like slap it on there. I know you're supposed to use like a, a brush. I have one, but I feel like it doesn't really, for me, it doesn't make a difference. So basically I try to just do um, the root area first and come down a little bit. I do it like right even like onto the the scalp as much as possible because it, it washes off like it might take like a, a day but it comes off i mean if you guys have any um tips on using 
the Arctic Fox? Let me know in the comments below because I'm not like an expert on hair dye. Um, I did go to hairdressing school, but I didn't complete it. Um, it just wasn't for me. I kind of just like doing it for fun, but not for like a job, a career, you know what I mean? So I posted like a few pictures on my Instagram with my hair because I've only had it red for like a few months and mostly everybody is liking it so far except for my five-year-old son. He doesn't like it. <laughs> He's like, no, no red mama. I'm like, you don't like it? He's like, no, go back to black. He's so funny. But I was like, you know what? I'm like, mama likes it, so mama's keeping it. So, I figured while I'm doing this, we, get, we can chat about like some stuff. Um, I've been, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I've been sick for like ever, like weeks, literally, like it will not go away. Um, I'm better now, but it was like really bad. And on top of that, like I wasn't sleeping very well and I don't know, it was just, it was awful. It was just like a, some kind of a cold or something going around. Um, bad cough. I had a really bad cough. Um, the doctor gave me cough medicine and it like kind of helped. But, so yeah, I haven't been like out or anything really just because of being sick. Um, so I did watch a couple movies at night time. Um, after work, like just relaxing and stuff, and I watched the movie. I had been wa I have been wanting to watch this movie. It's the movie Lamb. Was it Lamb or the Lamb? I was really curious about it, and I was actually able to watch. It. I think it's been out for like a year or so, maybe longer. I'm not really sure. <laughs> it was a very strange movie. I like strange movies like that. It was very strange, like really uh, out there. <laughs> the ending was like not what I thought it was going to be at all, um, but it was really pretty freaky. Like, like I don't know, just like messed with your head, I guess. It wasn't like gory or anything like that. It was just odd, you know, but I did really like it. So uh, let me know if you guys have seen that. And what your thoughts are on that. I try to get like right underneath here as much as possible. I basically did the front, like even going to here um, and not just like pieces coming down the front because I wanted to get the main areas around my head where there was a lot of gray and that's where I have it is in the front. and. The other reason why I wanted to do it red was because the black hair, my hair's not actually, I don't actually dye it black. I dye it, it's a combination of darkest brown and like a plum black. So it's not jet black. But, you know, when you have gray hair coming in against dark, like a dark, dark hair color, it's so noticeable. And that's why I like, I know a lot of people end up like, doing like blonde or blonde highlights or something to lessen the harshness of like the you know the noticeability of like the gray hair coming in so I was like maybe if I do red it'll be less noticeable it definitely is it's still not great <laughs> but it is but I, I, I have noticed within the past couple of years my gray hair has gotten like way worse and of course it has to be like right around the framing of my face where it's like most noticeable. It can't just be like in the back somewhere. But anyways, going on to talk about other movies, I watched the, it was either called The Wonder or Wonder. And it said in the same vein as like The Witch, they type of like a field um, movie where it's, it was set um, back in the day. When I say back in the day, I always say back in the day for older movies because I'm terrible with like time periods. I'm like, I don't know, is this the 1800s? Is this like the early 1900s? Like I'm just really bad with that. 
but um, I'm really into period pieces, so anything back in the day I like to watch. So it was called Wonder, and I thought it was really good. It wasn't horror, but it was really like, it was like a thriller, like kind of like <sighs> fucked with your head type of thing. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. And just like this, the plot and stuff was just like messed up and like a, like messed up in a good way. And I thought the acting was really good in the movie. I believe the main actress was the girl from Midsummer. Um, if I'm wrong and if you've seen it, let me know, but it looked just like her, so I think it was her. Um, that was a really good one. I really like I really liked that one. And then I also watched Hell Hole. I think that was on Netflix. And that one was like okay. Like the idea of it was like cool. It was basically like this like priest goes to like this monastery, like in like like the nowhere land of like Poland to help with like exorcisms and uh, you know, the movie takes like a messed up turn from there, like besides exorcisms happening in general, like it was just messed up and not what I expected. I literally had to fast forward through parts of it because I was like, yeah, I'm going to puke. Like just like the gross out factor of it, like I just, I was like, oh, I can't. The ending was okay, but I feel like they could have done something more with it. Like, I feel like there was more potential in that movie to do something bigger. Uh, especially with one of the characters that you only see at the end of the movie. Like, I don't want to spoil it for you guys in case you want to watch it yourselves. But, it was okay. I just, like I said, I wish they had done something more with it. So, let me know if you guys have seen any of those movies. I'm probably going to do a video coming up on like my favorite series that I've series that I've watched recently like across different like streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime, um, HBO Max, like stuff like that. Um, so you'll, you guys will have to let me know if you're interested in like the series that I'm either currently watching or have watched. Now I'm, I took like the section I started with down and I'm just like running the dye through like the rest of the, the length of the hair. I kind of just kind of like squish it all together. My hair's so thin that like, you know, it doesn't take that much effort to really cover it with the hair dye, but I just, I try to make sure I saturate it. And these, I read the directions on the bottle and it said to wrap your hair in plastic and heat it with a hair dryer for 15 minutes. I've never done that. I know when I've gone to the salon before, they'll do, they'll do that, but I'm just <laughs> lazy. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I've never done it. I don't really think that it makes a difference. Like it, ne like, it never has for me as far as like the color lasting longer. It says it leave it in for a half an hour, but I might leave it in for an hour. That's what I usually do with hair dye. I don't know if it really makes a difference um, with like demi permanent or semi permanent hair. I know with um, sorry with semi permanent or demi permanent hair dye, but I know with um, permanent hair dye, I feel like it makes a difference. I always leave it on for an hour or like longer than they say to. I don't know, I've been trying like different things to get my hair to actually be healthier and grow, because my hair has just always been really thin ever since I started dyeing it when I was like, I don't know, I'm a teenager. You know, I used to have like pretty nice hair and then just over the years of dying it just did damage to my hair so 
it's not as nice as it used to be. And now I have to wear like hair extensions because it's so thin. Um, you know, if I'm going out anywhere, I'll wear hair extensions. If it's just to run errands or something, I don't. But like if I'm actually like going out, going out with friends or something, I always wear hair extensions because it, it really is so thin. I actually have some blonde pieces of um, hair extensions that I want to dye, I think, to match this that I can use. Because right now I only have the um, color to match the back of my hair. And I have some other colorful hair extensions, but I don't think that they'll, they'll go with my hair right now with the color that it is. Like I have a pair of like hair extensions that are a dark green, like, like a, like a, kind of like a foresty green kind of color. Maybe a little bit brighter than that. Um, but I don't think it'll look good with the red. I don't know. It'll look like Christmas hair. Won't it? I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. And then the other color I have is purple. Like a bright purple. And it, it, I think it's going to look awful with this. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. That's why the only thing I usually wear is just like the, the dark ones that match the, the back of my hair. So now I do around my hairline. And I go overboard. And I really come down low. Even like beyond where the hair is because I do have like little hairs in the front you probably can't see them but I have little hairs in the front um, like scattered about and I feel like I hate it when I don't cover them up properly and then like it's like oh there's a gray hair and I hate it so I bring it down kind of low and if it stains my head I don't really care because I can get most of it off with like a wet wipe or like a makeup wipe or something or um, what I do is at night time when I go to sleep I take like a, like, a, like a face oil like argan oil or something like that and I put it around or on the areas um, that are like went too far down on my scalp and like stained it really bad and then usually when I wake up in the morning, like, the oil kind of, like, gets it out. But I have found recently with, like, d using the red dye, it really doesn't stain my, my head that bad. Alright, so I think that's good. I'm just going to clean up a little bit because I did get it, like, on my arms and stuff. But it's not a big deal. And then I'm going to let it sit for an hour. I'm going to rinse it out. And then dry it and then show you guys the finished results. All right guys, this is it all washed out and dried. It's not styled or anything, I just kind of blow dried it. And I don't have any extensions in, so you can see like my hair <laughs> is pretty thin. Um, I like the color, but the gray coverage was pretty crappy. I knew it wasn't gonna cover the gray like completely, but I feel like it could have done more. I don't know if you can see, but I definitely can notice that there's a lot of gray that's not covered. And I just thought it was gonna be covered at least now and then just wash out like kind of the next few washes, but it just didn't even take to most of the gray in my hair, but whatever, you live and learn. I do like the color though. I think the color came out nice. I ended up uh, also dyeing two pieces of hair extensions that I had, like blonde ones, so um, if I do, you know, when I do wear them, I probably just stick them like under here so they come down here in the front. Overall, I give this hair dye maybe a 6 out of 10, 6.5, only because the gray part of it, like I'm just not happy with it. We'll see um, how it goes as far as how long it takes to wash out. Like if it washes out like totally within like two or three washes, I'm gonna be kind of upset um, because I just feel like it's not a long time and it's, I feel like it's just a waste, you know? So the next time I dye my hair, I'm going to have to do the permanent dye, which lifts. All right, so my camera cut me off. So I don't even know what I was saying. Anyways, not happy with the gray coverage. 
Um, I like the color, color overall. Um, next month I'm going to have to do my roots again because the, of the grays. So I'll use a permanent uh, hair dye for, the, for that because it'll lift it. I'm probably just repeating myself, but I don't remember what I said. Anyways. If you guys um, have any recommendations as far as like red hair dye, like shampoos to use, I have like the John Frieda red hair dye stuff. I feel like it makes no difference at all. I don't know if because it's because it's like a cheap brand or if there's something more of like a salon type quality that you guys recommend, let me know. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. So if you, like I said, if you have any advice or tips or anything like that, let me know. Let me know if you like the color, if you're liking the red, or if you like my son and you want me to go back to black. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys who are like looking to dye your hair with Arctic Fox. And yeah, until next time, stay dark, my friends, and I'll talk to you guys later.